Well, folks, here we are working bees in the snow. Uh, doing the best we can. These hives, these particular hives are actually two in one. There's two five frame nukes with a divider in the middle. On this one, one side is died out. So I'm removing the queen excluder and that allows the hive to have a bit more contact with the pollen patty. And I'm giving, putting in uh, apivar strips. Normally I would wait for better weather, but the forecast is for worse. So we figured, Otto, you can put that in the gator, I guess. We figured we might as well just get it done while we can. So what I'm seeing, we've done quite a batch of hives here. What I'm seeing is that the, we've had about 10 days of abnormally cold and snowy weather. The good hives are just fine. And the weak hives, which were always a bit of a long shot are now finished. So this one's two good nukes. Bees from wall to wall and from wall to wall. Nothing wrong with that at all. Give each side one strip. Okay. Well, the ones that are have queens on each side, I don't want to disrupt that queen excluder because once I break it free, I'll never get as good uh, continuity over that divider. So I leave that as long as possible. And, oh, let's have a look. The pollen patty, it always looks like they haven't got too interested on top. But when you peel it up, you'll see that they're they're digging into it. They probably get more interest in it if, if it, they didn't have the excluder there, but uh, it's never been much of an issue. And then weather like this, you pretty much got to feed them just to be sure because it's cold enough that if that hive hunkers down into a tight ball and if there's honey just outside that area they're keeping warm, they can't get to it. So you want that feed right over the cluster. And then they can, uh, even when it's quite cold, they'll be up at that pail, even if they're not against the outside wall. So I, we're, I think as of today, every hive has a pail, except for whichever hives have emptied their pails. So that's the plan. Just keep feeding, keep treating, until Mother Nature gives us a bit of a break. Good. I'll keep going. I don't want it to seem like all Manitoba beekeepers do in their videos is complain about the weather, so I'm not going to say too much, but this is getting a little ridiculous. What date? It it's uh, what the heck date is it? 19th or 18th or something? Like 18th of March. April. 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 Holy crap! Man, are we behind? It's gonna be May, and there's still gonna be snow on the ground. Yeah, Cotter had a low forecast over the weekend. It's yeah. Going well as well. yeah. Hey, Colorado, keep your lows to yourselves, because we don't need them. Don't think I'll be seeding anytime next soon. What would be your best guess for seeding? <laughs> yeah, the <just> sigh. <laughs> the person holding the camera is I involved in, in land farming, so what do you think? Yeah, okay, uh, here's one. When I said the weak ones are now dead, Exhibit A. So that's a hive that I marked as weak two weeks ago. 
Now there's oh, 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 oh there's a couple of these. <laughs> oh look. Well, I'll be triggered. There's just a baseball-sized clump of bees there. That's yeah, because they have no feet, or because of the. Uh, that well, it's just been such a long. Well, you can see all these starved ones in the yeah. corner here. Uh, they might be hungry. Is a pail here? Did I have a pail for that one? Did you pay on the eater? No, we've used them all. Um, I'm just gonna. So if you think you got starving bees, you can do a lot worse than just dribbling some syrup right over them. And there's a little bit of sugar content in this patty. So we'll give them that too. I wish if if uh, ta if we had proper bee weather, which we should by now, I would shake some bees into that. Really, that's not practical today. So the best we can do is thoughts and prayers, really. <laughs> which isn't much use, to be honest with you. So there's no pail, eh? So we'll just cover this one up. You can see here is just the heat from the bees. You get a bit of an indication of strength that they've melted away here on this side much less so i mean i don't know but you always want to be paying attention to your clues like that i'm expecting this side to be strong and this side to be not so much well i guess i was right about that <laughs> uh Oh, Jeff, you must have done this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you done the rest? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's you just about melted my brain there for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those ones over there got patties? Uh, which ones? Those ones there yeah. didn't. Okay. So I guess we're close to wrapping it up. What time is it? Well, anyway, folks, that's working bees in the snow.